Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce the newest member of the Rated R Cars family. Introducing my new 2022 Ducati V4S motorcycle. This motorcycle features the legendary 1103cc Desmo Sedici Stradale V4 engine from the Panigale. This bike pushes out 208 horsepower and 90.4 pound feet of torque and with a dry weight of only 392 pounds, about 440 pounds wet. This bike, as you can imagine, rips. It rips so much actually that it has four wings here, 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 and here on the front to keep the tires on the ground, which is pretty epic looking, pretty aggressive looking. We're gonna tune this bike and do the exhaust and it's gonna be over 220 horsepower. Stay tuned for that soon. This bike has a Bosch six axis IMU, which just knows where the bike is, how it's leaned at all times, and it works with all the advanced electronics to make sure you keep the bike going as fast as possible and upright. The S version has upgraded Olin's electronic adjustable suspension, looking hot all automatic, adjusted with a flip of a switch. You got several modes on this bike, including race mode, which is the only mode I use. The S model also comes with Marchesini Forge lightweight aluminum rims, as well as a few other lightweight bits, such as a lithium ion battery to shave off five pounds versus the non S version. And interestingly, it's only two pounds heavier than the much more expensive SP version. Of course, we're going to be doing some mods here starting immediately. I already have a ton of them on order. We'll be doing exhaust. There's a lot of different exhaust options on this bike. We're looking at like seven to $8,000 for the Akrapovich exhaust installed, which I think is incredibly expensive. So right now I'm looking at a Termignoni solution, but we may try out several versions of the exhaust if this bike becomes popular on the channel of course we're going to be getting rid of this eyesore right here asap already got that on order these are going to disappear we're going to have the integrated ones that hide like right under that wing there ultimately we'll take these mirrors off and do the bar end mirrors getting some custom paint done on this and different carbon fiber parts as well as radiator guards ordered a more aerodynamic cowl since i'm not going to be having anybody sitting on the back of this bike mostly because they would be flying off safe to say i'm going to be taking these rear pegs off and i already ordered so many parts for this i forgot <laughs> i forgot what else i ordered but suffice it to say we're going to make this an even more awesome bike than it already is i do have footage for my first riding impressions video that will be coming out soon look how menacing this is the design inspiration for this was the joker from batman isn't that cool but enough of my jibber jabber let's start her up thing makes all kinds of cool noises when you start it up exhaust actually sounds really good especially at those high revs like 14,000 rpm it's incredible it is a dual outlet exhaust she's not even broken in yet how many miles do i have 45 miles so can't get crazy on her yet do a little revving for you for your auditory pleasure so guys let me know what you think of this beautiful beast 208 horsepower we're going to be tuning her to over 220 horsepower this thing is absolutely fierce loaded with all the electronics all the latest technology to keep that front wheel down so you can accelerate literally like a rocket let me know what you guys think and in the meantime always remember the motto always be kind if necessary and i will see you in the next one Parking only for boy toys. The Street Fighter is insane, but nothing like the madness of this Diablo 1260S. This is crazy. The Street Fighter has tons of electronics to actually lower the torque. Instead of having the bike wheelie, this thing will, will loop if you twist the throttle. Now we will be tuning that down so that we have full access to the torque, but this is definitely more geared towards racetrack and twisties so that you can get into those deep RPMs, that deep acceleration without having to worry about the bike jumping up on you. This thing's gonna be sick. This is still my overall favorite bike though. Bad arse Ducati Diablo 1260S. Anyway, I digress.
See ya.